What's up guys, it's Ed from TechSource and welcome to Setup Wars episode 93 where you submit your desk setup to get featured on the channel. If you want to participate, make sure to watch the video linked down below. You know the drill, let the Setup Wars begin. If you guys are shopping around for your next game, make sure to check out G2A.com because they have the cheapest CD keys available for pretty much any game. I'll drop a link to them down below if you want to check it out. Mark is first up with a pretty straightforward and clean ultra wide setup. He's using the 29 inch LG monitor, Corsair K70 keyboard and Logitech 502 mouse. It doesn't look like he drilled a hole for those cables however. For audio, he's rocking a soundbar from Samsung on the top shelf, a pair of Sennheiser HD 429s hanging from the side and an insignia microphone right under the monitor. The S340 case on the table has an i7-870 inside that's paired with an ASUS GTX 950 Strix that's been painted white to match the color scheme, very nice. Cables are off the ground and on the signum rack so I can't really complain here. I mean realistically no one is going to bend over and look under your desk so as long as the cables are not on the ground I really can't say much. Overall this is a very organized setup, thank you Mark for entering. Next up is Powie with a very nice iMac setup. I'm actually thinking about doing an Apple edition of Setup Wars where it's only Apple products. So let me know what you guys think about that in the comment section down below. I think it'll be pretty cool. But anyways, this setup is running on the late 2013 27 inch iMac and the Apple wireless keyboard and mouse. He also has a piano keyboard as well, which hints that he might be into producing music. He's got the ATH M50s, an MXL V6 microphone and a Yamaha guitar to help with that. The two massive studio monitors are the Yamaha HS7s and they are sitting on top of custom made stands. Excellent work with cable management, they are hidden very well and I like where you mounted your Focusrite audio interface. The setup is put together nicely, it's just really cool to look at but the thing that caught my attention was the wall of devices. It looks like he framed all the Apple products that he owned before which is pretty damn cool. I feel like every setup needs something unique like this to distinguish it from the rest. Something creative and that's kind of the purpose of Setup Wars, to spark your imagination and maybe give you guys ideas on how you can improve your setup or maybe just spice it up a bit. Thank you Powie for entering. At number 3 we have Ralph and his very clean white and black setup featuring the S340 from NZXT that's equipped with a 6700K and a GTX 970. Oddly enough he's rocking the same color scheme and GPU brand as Mark from this episode. He's also using the BenQ 27 inch gaming monitor, Keysan Magic Force keyboard and SteelSeries rival 100 RGB mouse. He does have a BM800 microphone for voiceovers and two pairs of headphones, the Sennheiser HD 201s hanging from behind the monitor and the Sony MDRs under the desk. But can we please commend this gentleman on his cable management? You can already tell he spent a lot of time organizing all of this. Even the wires coming out of his PC are wrapped together. Bravo, well done. A pretty straightforward but clean setup nonetheless, thank you Ralph for entering. Shifting gears a bit, we got Shane and his beautiful triple infinity display setup. He's rocking two 27 inch Samsung monitors that are sandwiching the LG 34 inch ultra wide in the middle. Clean is the best word to describe this. He drilled a hole for the Logitech G410 keyboard and G502 mouse and that's pretty much all the stuff that's on the desk other than a pair of T-Full speakers. You know, taking out the Rode NT-USB microphone off the stand to make your setup look a lot cleaner was a bit slick but I can obviously see it in other pictures. But regardless, this is a very clean setup and that wasn't really necessary. Phenomenal job with cable management, everything is neatly tucked inside the raceways and not a single wire is in sight. To the right of the setup are a few drawers, one of which is holding up his PC. It's built inside the Fantex Evolve case with dual tempered glass side panels, a 6600K and an ASUS GTX 970 Strix. <laughs> what is it with ASUS Strix cards in this episode? That's like 3 already. An overkill yet beautiful setup, thank you Shane for entering. Speaking of beautiful setups, check this one out from Tommy. I'm personally not a fan of wooden tabletops, but for some reason I like what I see here. And that view though, right in front of the ocean, could it get any better? So Tommy has two 27 inch curved monitors from Samsung, an ASIO RGB mech keyboard with Logitech MX Master Mouse. It doesn't look like he uses headphones, so instead he relies on the Logitech Z623 speakers and his 15 inch MacBook that powers his setup. Excellent work with cable management, everything is hooked up under the table and even his drawers are neatly organized. That's what I love to see. 
Also props on hooking up your USB hub and SD card reader under the desk and away from sight. So what can I say? A very clean and organized setup. Thank you Tommy for finishing up this episode strong. So that is it for this episode. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like. And if you don't already, you can vote using the app Nice. I'll have a link down below. It's completely free. And you guys can check out the voting in real time to see what setup is actually winning. I'll announce the winners within the app as well as my social media platforms. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.